Today we're taking a trip down Nostalgia Road, guys. For those of you that have been subscribed for us for a long time, you know we have hundreds of videos that were simply dumpster diving. That's how we got our first thousand subscribers, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. That's where we were built. And today, since we're back in Virginia, we're gonna go hit that same exact road again and see some very familiar places that I haven't seen in a long time. Let's hope we can score big again, just like the good old days. So we went by GameStop earlier because I'm a 26 year old, 10 year old, you know? <laughs> and I had to buy this new SpongeBob game. So while we were there, I decided, Let's look around there and just see what the dumpster looks like. It's been a long time and the first spot we checked, guys, it was already awesome. And I was like, you know what? Tonight's gonna be our night. Look at what we found already. And let me show you this, because there's gonna be some people that only started watching us when we made storage units and they're not gonna believe that stores throw out this kind of stuff. Let me just show you my receipt from today. Just so you know, I didn't buy nothing. This is SpongeBob, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Xbox One, today. That's the only thing I bought. <laughs> all this other stuff here was all in the dumpster, guys. So look at this already. See this? Bam, gaming headset, easy 10 bucks if I were to sell it. A lot of this stuff, since you know we gotta go back, we're probably gonna just donate it, but oh well. Check this out. This is something you see a lot. If somebody returns a game to GameStop and they say it doesn't work, because you know they just changed their mind, they beat it, they don't want it, they have to say it's defective and they're supposed to return it, but as you can see, oops, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Perfect condition. Perfect condition. That's just sketchy customers trying to say, oh, it doesn't work so they can take it back. It's not true. Check these afterglows out. Same thing, look. Return to warehouse, right there. That just means somebody returned them because they didn't want them no more. We already tested these. Look, they're in there and they work perfectly fine. But because somebody returned them, they're not allowed to resell them, which is stupid. They can sell you stuff if you bring it to them, but if you return it, they have to throw it away. Makes a lot of sense. For my Kingdom Heart fans, look at that. Mm. Boom, Disney figure, check that out. Check this out, what is this? finger or something like little monkey finger things wings. that's pretty cool two of these little minecraft people look at that <laughs> boom, boom 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 this is one game style we got like 10 on our route and plus a lot of other stores this is again return to warehouse 99 percent of the time that's bs don't believe that little baseball figures that somebody opened up in the car to see if it was a yankee first player and it wasn't even a yankees <laughs> player <laughs> look at this playstation move camera 60 bucks i don't think it's 60 bucks no more obviously but it's still there Look at this. Annoy what? Uh, I don't know. You had to read it. I don't know. They blocked it off, but it's Annoy something. Annoy Atron pack. I don't know what it is. All right. Here's your baseball player. It's a crappy team. And then, other than that, there were some empty cases at the bottom. Because it was broad daylight, we kind of just wanted to grab the box and skedaddle out of there really fast. But when I was buying this game, the reason we checked it is I saw these guys bringing stuff back and forth. So we're definitely going to go back to that and see if they got any more to throw out. But look at all these. I don't even know if these are like stickers. Oh. Like Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing stickers. <laughs> Brand new, four packs. I don't know what they cost new, but all this stuff was from one GameStop dumpster. I think our normal route, we have about six GameStops. Um, CBS's, Bed Bath & Beyond, Five Below's, Barnes & Noble. I'm trying to remember, it's been a long time, but a lot of cool stores. With any luck, we're gonna find a lot more than that. We've only checked one place, guys, that we already have people stealing from us. Look Molly, at this. take it, take this one too, take it. Just run, run, taking run, all our stuff already. <laughs> We even went by the store, picked up some tools for the trade, you know. But they're kind of from the Dollar Tree, so you know, anything that weighs more than a case probably is going to be no good. But let's go. Let's go find some stuff. All right, so we're back at the GameStop. I bought the game from earlier. Like I said, the people on the counter are boxing up a lot of stuff. Let's go check their dumpster so we can find even more. All right, guys, this never gets any less awkward. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, look, I see a box of stuff again right over here. Check that out right there. Think there's stuff in these boxes or they're empty? Uh, let's see. I think these might be their display boxes, actually. Dang it. Let's look over here. Look at this PS4 case. Think we got a game in there? Let's check it out. Come on, Claw. Come on, Claw. There it is. Let's check it. Gundam versus display case. So, this is all display stuff. Nothing here. No. Oh, well, we got, we, I think we got everything they were tossing out. We have a lot more spots to check, so let's keep on going. All right, guys, you know what? This is the GameStop we actually found our cats at. You believe that? Ew. That's all food. 
that's that's just we're not gonna mess with that that is absolutely disgusting but this dumpster right over there is where dexter and Didi came from sorry we gotta be a little quick quick at this place because there's a trader joe's right over there and these employees do not know how to mind their own business and they all communicate see one time there are restaurant employees out here with this dumpster dive anyway the next day for about seven months everything that gamestop threw away was ripped and shredded so we don't want these people to see us that's why we're quick but i just went back and checked again there is nothing so let's head on to our next spot and see what else we could find you know what that light up sign right there is george mason university somewhere i spent an absurd amount of effort an absurd amount of money and an absurd amount of time chasing something that i didn't give two you know what's about i hated school but in a way the hatred of working a regular job and the hatred of going to school was almost probably what drove me to work so hard toward pursuing youtube so in a way i think i owe this crap hole thank you really what is up everyone going into the next game stop right now trying to be as stealth as possible and i'm making a lot of noise let's see what we got all right recycling bin boxes we have some game posters we used to take them all the time but we haven't in a while so i'm just gonna leave those here make sure i move some boxes make sure nothing's in there this side is where they usually have all the stuff it's like a clothes rack over there Let's see what's in this box and get it open And this seems to be all Starbucks right here, so let me slither on to this other side. Uh. God, I'm making so much noise. See if there's any GameStop bags over here. What's this? Promotional Nintendo Switch posters. Starbucks, Starbucks. There's one bag back here. All right, so I did get in real quick and grab this bag, pull it closer to myself, and see if anything's in here. It's kind of already ripped, so some of it fell out. Some gloves, candy wrappers, promotional papers. Other than that, nothing in this one. Time to check a CVS next. All right, at CVS, there's one dumpster right here and there's also two dumpsters right there. I can't remember which one was CVS, so we're just gonna check both. Ooh, this one looks pretty appetizing. So I see a bunch of just complete food trash. I don't really wanna touch most of it because it's pretty gross. Um, yeah, I don't see much in there, but let's go check this other one. All right, here's the other dumpster. So I see those packs of Krispy Kreme donuts, which I'm not reaching because they look open, and a full screen door right here. And I'm pretty sure there's some more household stuff over here. But there is a TV. Look at this flat screen. Now I'm debating very much so on taking this. It looks good. And there's some more household like curtains and stuff in here, but I might throw this into the back seat and see if this works. TV is in the back seat. I swear if this works, this is gonna be insane. Who wouldn't wanna find a flat screen TV dumpster driving? I mean, come on now. Can't wait to get home and test this thing. We'll let you guys know at the end of the video. All right guys, this is Barnes and Noble. This is where we hit the biggest dumpster diving score, I think on all of YouTube, but there's nothing in here. When they throw their stuff away, it's in boxes, not bags. If it's bags at a Barnes and Noble dumpster, it's just trash, but there's actually a GameStop right down the road so let's go see what's in there all right this is a GameStop, but there used to be an actual dumpster here not just a recycling one i don't think we're gonna find anything in the recycling one look at that xbox one xbox that'd be nice wouldn't it but you see how that's ripped already somebody's been through this one already yeah look at this see how there's trash all over the place that means that somebody else has already ripped these bags apart somebody else has probably taken anything of any interest here which kind of sucks should have guessed that when we saw the boxes open, but oh well, let's keep on going. All right, for those of you guys that have watched this for a while, I will always refer to this CVS here as the king of waste. Because the stuff that we used to pull out of here was just absolutely ridiculous. So this is all gr gross trash, but we probably pulled thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food. This is locked. Wow, they lock it now. That's not nice. See that? They never used to lock it. I'm going to guess that's where their stuff is because it's locked. That really sucks. Oh well. So sad. One of our best and favorite spots that we used to score at more than just about anywhere else is now locked. That's what happens when you make a mess and destroy stuff like an idiot. You ruin it for the rest of us. But 
Let's go see if we can find anywhere else to check before we head home for the day. So, did you park close enough to that sign? Maybe a little bit further, you know? I don't know how much closer you can get, but I guess you're in. Well, guys, couldn't find nothing. Back at the hotel, all the way on the top floor. Tomorrow, we'll go back by family's house check out see the tv works and let you know then all right guys so next day let me give you an update really quick so we took the tv home plugged it up and it would not cut on so i was like great now we got so much trash but i looked on the back of the tv and it's one of those plugs that's removable from the back and i was like they're not this stupid right so i pushed it in all the way sure enough there goes the red light push the button the tv's not even cracked some idiot somewhere out there threw away their TV because the plug in the back wasn't all the way in. Unless maybe they got a new one, I don't know, but I think they probably threw it away because they're idiots. But you know what? My family's got a brand new TV now. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, enjoyed not enjoyed, what's enjoyed? If you enjoyed the dumpster diving video, let us know down in the comments. We're still out here for another two days. We fly back to California on Wednesday, so if you want to see something else while we're out here, let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.